Hi, welcome to Star Tech Academy. We will learn something new with every new video. So, if you have used ChatGPT, you may have heard about its data analytics feature, which is quite good and much helpful for most of the data analysts. But it is paid. In this video, we will talk about a tool which works better than ChatGPT's code interpreter, and it can create an entire presentation based on a huge data set with only one prompt. Yes, it is correct. So this tool is Julius AI and it will change you do things completely. So nowadays, almost every single task includes handling data. And with Julius, you can turn any data you have from survey, campaign or in an Excel sheet into visualizations. It is like ChatGPT's advanced data analytics, but more enhanced and free. So without wasting any time, let's get started. We will search Julius AI and click on this link. After successful login, you will see a screen like this. On the left, you can see new chat, chats, file, docs and upgrade options. From here, you can start a new chat or you can straight away write your prompt here. And here I have these two CSV files, product and sales. In this file, we have product data and in this file, we have sales data. So let me show you these files. So here we have product ID, category, subcategory and product name of those products which we have sold. And in the sales file, we have sales related information. Order line, order ID, barcode, order date, ship date, ship mode, customer, product ID, sales quantity, discount and profit. So we have product ID common in both of these files. If you see here, product ID and here we have product ID. So for creating visualizations, we need to combine these two files. And for that, we need a software like Excel, SQL, Pentaho, Power BI, etc. But there is no need to do so when we have Julius. So we'll go to Julius, click on add files, upload. And here I will upload these two files. Now I will write my prompt. So here I have written that combine these two files based on a common key which is product ID. I will hit enter. So you can see it is writing a python code for combining these two files. Here it is showing me a preview of both of files. And here you can see that now I will proceed to combine these two data frames based on the common key which is product ID. If we click here, we can see the code and it is our merged table and here you can see that this merged data frame now includes details from both the product and the sales data matched on the product ID. Now you can see here three options that visualize, calculate and keep going. If I click on keep going, then Julius will suggest me that what to do. So you can see that. The next step is to ensure that the merged data frame is correctly structured and there are no issues with the data. So it has checked that our merged data frame is working fine or not. The merged data frame is well structured with no missing values in any of key columns. It contains a combination of data from both the product and the sales file, which is great. Now here I will write my prompt that create a bar chart showing sales over the here I'll hit enter it is writing code so here you can see that Julius created a bar chart but x and y axis are not visible so I will write create this chart again because x and y axis are not so here I have written that create this chart again because X and Y axis are not clearly visible in this chart. So I was in the dark mode. So that's why I wasn't able to see the axis. So here you can see that on the X axis we have years and on the Y axis we have total sales over the year. If I click on keep going, the next logical step would be to analyze the sales data further. We could explore sales by different categories and subcategories or even by customer segments if the data is available. Additionally, we might want to look at profitability, discount, impact or seasonal trends. That is right. So here you can see that now it has created a bar chart which is showing me category wise total sales. So there are three categories 
technology furniture and office supplies and here you can see that the sales of technology is highest so if you want to ask for the questions you can write here or you can click on keep going then it will auto suggest what to do so here we will write that in which year our sales was maximum and what was the product category so here i have written that in which year our sales was maximum and what was the product category so here in this bar chart you can see that in 2022 our sales was maximum let's see yeah so here you can see that the year with the maximum sales was 2022 and the product category that contributed the most to sales in that year was technology now i will combine another file which is customer so in this csv file we have customer related data you can see that customer id customer name segment age country city state postal code and region so if i write here that combine this csv file so here you can see that it has automatically picked the common key which is customer id now it is running python code for merging this data and now you can see that this comprehensive data frame now includes customer detail along with their corresponding product purchase and sales data now i will write that show me the sum of sales by region and category in bar chart now here you can see that now we have sum of sales by region and category on the one axis we have sum of sales on the one we have region and these colors represents the category so you saw that how easily we have merged these that how easily we have merged these three files and started creating visualizations so do some experiment on your own and use julius with its full potential If you find this video helpful then like this video and subscribe to our channel because your little effort will motivate us to do more research on such topics that's all in this video see you in the next one thanks